Hello everyone, this is Sirius Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Raise the World Reboot Let's Play. We continue for episode 25 from turn 121 in the harvest season of 218. So last time we crossed the Inksy River, and there's still a bunch of army behind us, and they will probably colonize some of the land, but that's that's fine. We're going to put ourselves in harm's way. We're gonna want Joe Yu to attack us. We're gonna beat him back. Then we're gonna chase, chase, pull over here. And then reset our movement into Xingdu all the way down to their capital at Linhai. That is the southern plan. In the north, we have an army here that's kind of struggling to chase the enemy forces, but uh, we should be able to break through both of these, finish off Zhang Yan's army, then take out his capital, um, and then burn the remaining piece of land that Xu Huang has before turning on his, um, I guess, civil war faction. There might be the need to resummon the army because they are a bit worn out by that time, uh, but we'll see what we can do. We did discuss plans of potentially summoning a new army here in Shangyong using these generals so that they can make a push to clean up any of the recolonization. Uh, what I'm going to do is just simply recall them first, and if I start seeing a lot of recolonization, then we will send them out. If we don't see it, then we don't really need to take on more expense. Uh, we only have a few spies left. <laughs> and, my gosh. Uh, we can't take the territory because that's their capital. I can mess with it. The faction is down to two people, my god. Uh, we have the leader again. Uh, there's not many unhappy people in this faction anymore. So there's not much we can do uh, with this leader. Uh, we can maybe wait to see if we want to instigate a civil war at that point, just to fracture them up, maybe mess with some of the armies so that they're fighting each other. Uh, but that's also going to wait till next turn. Yeah, not much going on. Let's continue. Maybe Xu will give chase for our army, but first Zhou Yu's up. Lots of items, unbreakable. That is one thing that Zhou Yu has for him. And then we also have Zhang Zhou, who does not have Stifling Deluge. Okay, so basically if Zhou Yu dies, we can roar on the rest. They're also night battling us. Well, the weakness of mercenary units, it's low morale. I think a lot of them have even lower morale than, say, militia units, or it's close. Like, for the cost, it's pretty close. So maybe we don't even need to get that fancy with our roar, and John L's repeated roar could just get it done. It's very possible, actually. Forty-eight, thirty-six. Okay, it's it's still decently high. Where is uh, Zhou Yu? Wait, why is it only? Oh, oh, they scattered. Okay, I was like, where are they? Do they firebomb? Oh my god, that did so much damage. What happened here? That firebomb did so much. How? There's a chance he might bounce back. I, I don't know, actually. Trying to get him into heal range. No, we didn't get him. Alright, there goes uh, his roar. Okay, this just became a little bit more challenging. So we'll take the heal. We're gonna run him to the side. We're gonna just micro do here for this one. We'll just take what we can get. 
And then whenever we're tired, we're just... Well, not tired. Whenever we're injured, we'll run to... Um, Tar in there. Alright, we're out of a few. Let's go heal. Charged out too far. What is he doing? Wait, what was that? He was getting... Oh, the guard passive. He was, he was like at the 35 meter range from a tiger guard. And he was getting the guard passive and then losing it, getting it again, losing it. Uh, can we not run around like that? It's dangerous. Yeah, the army quality is still bad. Don't know why they're standing there and not moving. Mm, these cavalry might still be a problem. Nice slam. We are low again. Who is chunking us like this? Is it just... One guy's ability is insane against generals? No way. I don't know what's going on. Okay, that guard passive is super annoying. I right, don't get dismounted. We're actually kind of low. Is it the cavalry? No. Oh, it's a cavalry. So into a sick double charge. The 600 extra damage from the charge. The cavalry's killing us. That makes sense. So that's what did John L in. Not the firebomb. It's the charge bonus from the cavalry. All right, come with me. We got we got to heal this up. Yeah, when the 600 go through evasion and just, you know, add it as a damage modifier, a couple cavalry, it's going to be like each of them is going to hit closer to a K. I think all the cavalry are dead. No, there's still one left. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna get here. I'm gonna try to freeze them so the cavalry can't charge us, and then we're gonna run back. We still have that cavalry left. Still can't roar because Joey's still up and running. I mean, it also means the generals have double charge, I think, as well. Oh, no. Actually, I don't think so. That's bugged out. They can't move or something like that. Uh-oh. Tarin just came in head first. Oh, the cavalry. I right, froze them. We kill them. Should be fine. Kill the cavalry, kill the cavalry, kill the cavalry. Oh! Dismounted by who? These guys who are stuck here? My god. Uh. Not pretty. No more cavalry. I mean, being dismounted here is actually an advantage, so I guess it's okay. A couple swings. It's doing good damage to Libu. Uh, this is very bad, needless to say. We're gonna use it. I hope a lot of them don't bounce back. And then we just have to solo draw you here, which is much more doable. Oh, that was rough. We gotta watch out for Sunsa's cavalry. We gotta execute Sunsa as soon as possible. 
That 600 charge. Do not want to be on the receiving end of that anymore. Alright, we're executing. Oh, that's not where I want you to go. It's gonna pull us farther away from our targets. Oh, this is actually a good deal. This is actually a good deal. We're fighting them anyways, and might as well get paid doing it. One guy is gone now as well. Zhou Yu as well. I don't think Pantong spawned into the game yet. Our another daughter of ours. Yeah, Pantel is not in the game yet. Bao oh, Hui. Yep, these are the good characters for a girl's name. Treasure and Wisdom. That was definitely a good choice there. Alright, we're going to fight this. Have to fight this. Right, we can give it to the Mercenary Lord. We're not doing it that way. I think we want to hit pass first. So maybe we can instant siege this. Then we can use the army to bounce back. That should give us our full movement back. Come on, Gaoshan, level up. Right, so because we got a contract with them, we can't really kill them right now. Or else we can, I mean, we can tear up the contract. <laughs> uh, let's do it. It's gonna be ugly. But that is their fate. A movement reset tool for us. Wipe out these two final capitals, then we'll work on the rest. Now this... Handong is here. Yu Fan, uh, Yu Fan. okay, that's fine. You find oh, that's... Agent that's dead. Civil War needs 10 more points. Um, do interference first. There's nothing to do here. They're both unemployed. And there's just not much we can get out of that. Quite it. We're going to need a lot of healing before this fight starts. Uh, they still have that cavalry unit. It's very concerning. <laughs> We're going to try to heal as much as we can. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's pretty much one charge away from getting killed. Now the AI should be spreading out their army to look for us. Or maybe they're just staying together because there's no time limit. They're technically the one getting attacked. So we should probably be able to heal a couple times here first. All right, we're going to be a little gutsy. Let's see what they're doing. With so many trees, we don't even actually... So when their towers are here, so they have to be somewhere close by, I guess. All right, that's a lion. They might have some oil puddles nearby. We'll do another heal for Lupul so he has some health and then he can maybe go find that oil puddle. Hi guys, not unbreakable. Where's the oil? Oh, there's a cavalry. The towers, the towers, my gosh. Can we capture them? Lost vision. Can't find the oil puddle. Oh, he has stifling deluge, okay. Good intel. I mean, I want them to get over and then, like, just kill themselves on the way back. Yep, stifling deluge. Charge me, charge me. <laughs> Guard passive. They're just not charging. Come on, come on. Walk past your defense. Can't find their oil puddle either. I mean, we're trying to be active against their cavalry. If we can kill them before they charge us, it'll be great. Just have one more. We got one though. Oh, they're coming across. Now we just gotta get them to go back over. All right, the cavalry is killing themselves. Good. Now, what are those strategists doing over here? Try to snipe him. Yeah, not worth the risk of getting dismounted. All right, we're in much better shape. Let's march out. Let's do it together. Let's go after that cavalry. No. All right, we got him. Get out. We're gonna spam one more heal. John L is still very low. Wait, his health didn't go up. Huh. Wait, I thought it was supposed to go to 17k.
，当今战乱频仍，生灵涂炭。若战事旷日，大获全胜，毋庸置疑。让他们闭嘴！职责所在。Alright, now we wipe them. Alrighty, this is just going to be formality here. Get a heal for John L. Yeah, it did go. See, it did go to eight. Huh. I mean, there's the post-battle heal, but still. The 15k at the end of the last one was kind of weird. Where are you guys hiding? Hello, guys. Goodbye, guys. Quite, quite, quite. 22k, that's good enough. Uh, not enough movement. Ooh, Sun Tzu is here. We need to kill him. Okay, new plan. We put ourselves out here in March to try to get Sun Tzu to fight us. Yeah, I think that's pretty much all we can do here. Hope we get an engagement. Maybe even from Sutual. Yeah, come down, please. We need your 25% health. Ah, the other part of the two, Zhang, Zhang Hong, Jiang Qin. Cavaries. Gotta, gotta watch out for the cavalry. Every cavalry is double, so it's difficult. Alrighty. It sure rains a lot in the south. Might want to put out a few of these. Hmm. No one's un- Oh, cavalry's here. No one's unbreakable. And no one has stifling deluge. So if we could get them together... Yep, they injure themselves. We're just gonna target the cavalry first. They're scarier than generals. They already chunked. Still one more. All right, let's be active. Let's get them before they get us. Is that it? I think that might be it. Okay, now the rest of the units are trash. This time we got a new Uh, they still have a spear wall. I don't know if this is everyone. If this is everyone.
I don't think we have time to heal another one. It's fine. There's a chance Swinsla also marked us up to fight us this turn. Although I don't think AI movement's that far. Hmm. They group them together. They really want horses. Oh, they're fighting each other. Kill each other. So I don't have to. Okay, looks like they're not unbreakable. And they don't have that many cavalry units. We're going to drag the garrison out. Oh, that's a lot of cavalry. Uh... We're going to use the end turn. I mean, the one advantage of finding this together is we get a heroic and there's a good chance we execute him. The bad thing is that would be an incredibly difficult fight with this many units. Uh, let's do it together. Alrighty, we're gonna let the reinforcement come in, obviously. Technically, we could roar on all of them, and that would be an easy way to get this battle over with and try to get the capture. But, like, how are we gonna make sure they all clump up? That's a lot of units. Uh, it's gonna be sort of a divide and conquer type of situation. And as always, if we can pick on their cavalry before their cavalry picks on us, we'll take it. We're gonna blunt that charge with that, and then we're just gonna leave. We kill them one at a time. This might be dangerous. Yeah, you can shoot us, it's fine. This bow is not going to hurt. This, however, getting charged is going to hurt. We're going to get out of this. I oh, used to slam. Okay, he missed. Ooh. Spotted a target. Easy target. I 
Okay, we're gonna try to chain roar them. Potentially. Ooh. Cavalry incoming. Ah, uh, pull out. Yeah, we're just gonna have to be annoying like this until all their cavalry dies. They still have like five, six. Okay, got rid of another cavalry. And another one before that other one charges us. Let's see if we can counter charge that. Let's get out. That's a pretty good harass. We go center, roar, go out. They're not coming back again. I think they're down to two cavalry. Let's see if we can do a roar on that. Okay, cooldowns used. Last cavalry is kind of hard to charge into. But if it comes to us. Well, there's another one. Alright, we got all their cavalry. Step one complete. John Ellis kind of hurt. since those got whacked. No one's even his friend? That's your emperor that we just whacked. No one's reacting to it. Ooh, oil patches. We found them. Aha, <laughs> froze them in place. Those, those two units just got completely wrecked. These small roars aren't doing enough. There's another fire. Oh, I uh, lit it too early. Well, they can't cross over. 
They're still not dense enough for a final roar. I don't think so. Do a couple more harassment roars. We've been patient this whole time. Might as well keep up the patience here. Seems like that's the only strangling unit. If we kill that, then we should be able to just roar on them. Got it. Now the big question is, do we capture Sun Tzu here? We do end the battle full heal. That's pretty nice. Alright, give us a lot of capture, please. We got him. So first, Zhao Hong's gone. Sun Tzu is gone. No more double cavalry. Um... We'll reset movement. Tal is the only one left. We're gonna take settlement, then use them to bounce again. Wasn't the original plan, but getting Sun Tzu is definitely worth it. Makes all the fighting afterwards so much easier. Uh, I wonder if we want to delegate this, actually. <laughs> like, the terrain's tough. And we can't get them together for a loop. Just 74 mercenary. We can heal up here. I say we do, but like two heals? Before we finish them off. Actually, Lupu's gonna be full after this, isn't he? Alright, Lupu's gonna go finish. Just gotta find them. I don't know if there's enough distance there to get another heal in. I don't think there is. I think he's just gonna route off pretty quick. We'll see if I can squeeze a 1k on the first part of the heal back. Spam click. Okay, we got that. We're definitely not getting the 60 seconds, so. Now we need Sun Quan and Sun Ren. Hmm, I guess we take the Weaponsmith? Because we're still working our way back towards the capital. We'll fight this. Should be open field. Alright, the trick is how do we get them to circle together? I think we come to the side, we, we basically do the same thing we do to archers. We try to twist them. And if they won't listen to us, then we'll just slam away the sides. Oh, missed one. Can we hit him fast enough? Yes. There we go. I think we can squeeze another 1k heal out of this.
Now we can go straight for the capital, or we can loop around. There are advantages to both. If we take out the capital early, then they wouldn't have access to Imperial units. And we can go through Yan Bai Hu's territory to see if we can find him. If we can't find him, we just destroy him. And also the settlement here are lower level. And that's the Han settlements, actually. There's no Wu army up here. And we can hinge our bet on trying to get this army free siege, which we currently don't have, next spring. So maybe that is the play. Now, how do we get here? Oh, that's very difficult pathing. Yikes. This is the fastest way, actually. So we take this. We should have decent movement. Take this. And then march a little bit this way. And then hopefully this army goes somewhere so that we can hit it. I don't know what Sushu is doing. I actually don't know what they're doing. There's There must be a certain settlement that they want. And they're waiting to resettle that certain settlement. You guys summon an army? That's so cute. We still have instant siege this turn, so we're taking the city first. We're very depleted. But we should still have enough to take this. Or not. Um, the fishing port. We don't have fire arrows. Our generals are low. We try to turn this to a land battle. And the other difficult part is how do we resummon this army? Because they're not going to be in friendly territory. We could take this, but then losing it would be difficult, actually. We could just march out into the empty land and try to get our way back slowly. It's not like they're going to be super aggressive against us. Yeah, that's always a concern about these long campaigns. Here goes another struggle for former faction of Liu Bei. Yeah, they got nobody. Um, there, there's nothing. There's nothing she can do for us. Right, so the army that they had on the field is gone now because they are now resummoned back. Zhuge Liang has joined the rebels. And they're gonna fight. They have only oh, they only have one piece of land, right? <laughs> what a civil war. We will fight over Koi Path now. So we're just gonna give them some trouble so that they can't colonize over here. Um that's pretty much all we can do, I think. Recolonization in the north. Sun Quan is finally the leader of Wu. This doesn't happen all the time. They're willing to pe like they're willing to pay us a decent amount here. Now, is there any chance? Oh, right, they're empires, so they can't become vassals. Um, is there any chance we want to take this deal? I don't think so. It doesn't matter the money, even though Sutra recolonization is a little bit concerning. But we need to end this game, so we're going to go after their Emperor seat, wipe them out. Hopefully Sun Quan's brave enough to summon himself. Like we knew there was going to be recolonization in the north. It's bound to happen. All right, they're coming out to fight us. That's what we wanted, right? To get this in open field. She has Poison Volley, he has Flame of Phoenix, and then we have a bunch of Poison Archers, so I don't think the enemy army can do much to us. I'm not, I'm not concerned about losing this fight. Let's do Fire on two of them, and Poison on the other two, and then Crossbow right behind. We, we don't need you guys to do anything. You guys are already kind of dead. Yeah, we got Slam. 
We got Roar. I got Poison Volley. So I'm gonna actually go on the flank. A tower as well. The only thing we're concerned about is that enemy cavalry. them out. Uh, I don't know if we can put... Oh! Literally one damage away from taking out? That's really unfortunate. Yeah, we definitely have enough firepower for this. Not a problem. And then we'll just roar this group. I just couldn't believe the poison volley would just want get one shotted by a spear unit on the charge. Anyways, um, we actually do want to chase. There's absolutely a follow-up fight. Oh, that's actually two units away from getting full wiped. It's okay. I'm I'm sure we can delegate this for the win now. Guess it's still supplies, even though the supplies pretty healthy for them. Grandson. Yuan Tan's available. Where are you hailing from? High Empire. I mean, he's not a spy. But I don't think we need him. That's definitely an army worth hitting. But we don't have the time for that. Wait a minute. We can... Yeah, we're gonna just start here. That's fine. Alright, save us some time. I think we'll be okay. Ah, uh, that little movement. Lost us so much. Don't care. What's wrong with our... Daughter. Greedy. Okay. There we go. That's what we're waiting for. And not useful. Might as well. Let's 
So, really have no idea what we want. Maybe the character sal salary decrease, I think, makes sense for us. We'll go get it. She became intimidating. Just like that. I mean, I think it's time to say goodbye to Xu Huan's faction. Oh, oh, I thought Gaoshan would level up. Alright, because we, we've been waiting for him to pick up Scattering Blow. But it's basically everyone but him picking up a level here. Alright, faction wiped. Now, how does our army get back home? These are not Giant's capitals. Giant must own pieces of land either here, or he has some land in the south, maybe? We are at war with them, but I'm counting on the fact that Civil War factions tend to be a little bit more passive. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll try to go home. Our mission is done. You know what? Taishitsu can come fight us. These are not that important right now. That is important. We don't know her stats. We don't know Taishitsu's stats. Okay, I mean, sure, we haven't fought him yet. Sun Quan has not summoned himself. This will still take some work. Ah, we could definitely do some assignments. That is for sure. No one's attacking us here. Hmm. Maybe someone will. We're not at war with them. I wonder if they're colonized, actually. Salt Hall is on the field. That's the last of the three kingdom heads we need. But we gotta get rid of this first. And we're pulling to wipe out Sun Tzu as a faction for- Oh, Sun Tzu as a faction now. Basically just raising this area, popping out here, raising this area. We're probably going to ignore Wang Long. This will wipe out Wu right here. Han can live, and then it's just wiping out Wei, including this. Oh man, he's going fast. I should succumbs. Alright, so I think this will be our save point. This battle probably will take a little bit of time. Um, Okay, maybe not. Yeah, they don't actually have... If we can group them together, it'd be easy roar. But we want to take a bit of time to heal. So I think this is a good save point. We'll come back and fight this battle at the start of the next episode. And then we probably would be able to wipe out at least their capital seat. Or emperor seat. And then we'll spend a bit of time cleaning up this area. Without an army to bounce around these settlements in the south with the distance between settlements, it's going to take us a bit of time to get to Cao Cao. We're probably going to summon that army in Shangyong because the enemy are a little bit too active with colonization in the north, Cao Cao's forces in particular. I'm a little concerned how that's going to go. So we got to put, put an end to that. But at the same time, I really want Liu Bu to get Xu Chu. So it has to be him. So we'll, we'll check that out, see how we can do it. Uh, but we'll return to this fight next time. So until then, bye.